Hey guys, this is Gabriel from Pandaily, and today we're going to bring you the Eiffeltech Smart Recorder with its top-notch real-time transcription and translation capabilities. As a reporter, I have tons of interviews to transcribe each day, whether it's in Chinese or English, and I have to say, it's a huge pain. So they say this device is gonna solve this problem once and for all. So let's check it out. First, let's look at its appearance. As we can see, this one comes in uh, rose gold. Another color is deep gray. Um, the rose gold is also a color of an iPhone, I remember. It's very pretty, huh? So from the appearance, I'm probably going to ditch my old Sony recorder. I really like this color, although it's a little bit girly. Of course, the most important functionality of the recorder is its receiver quality. We can see that there are six small microphones around its display and two Harman golden directional microphones on the top. The device is able to perform AI smart noise reduction and record up to 15 meters. So why we need this SIM card slot, we'll get to this later. As I mentioned before, the highlight of this product is its real-time transcription and translation, and it supports both languages. Now let's try two tongue twisters. She sells seashells by the seashore. The shells she sells are surely seashells. So if she sells shells by the seashore, I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Comparatively speaking, the Chinese transcription is rather accurate, almost no typo. In contrast, English is about 90%, and there are some wrong words. Also, we had an idea. We tried recording in a very noisy place, and the result is actually pretty good, but the problem is it includes the sound of the surrounding environment. In terms of sound quality, I would say the Aflatag is definitely better than iPhone. So that's all for uh, transcription. Now let's try out its translation ability. You could probably try using this to watch some Chinese TV series without English subtitles. So for transcription and translation, the general result is actually good. But I would say there are two major shortcomings. Number one, when it comes to accent. So the interesting thing about English is that it works like a lingua franca for a lot of countries. When it's English accent, it's um, barely okay. But when it's Chinese accent, woo, nothing. Secondly, the device only functions well when there is good internet access. If there is no Wi-Fi, you can always resort to hotspots. That's where the SIM card I mentioned earlier comes in. With internet connection, you can continue its regular operation on the go. Without internet access, this is just an ordinary recorder. You could just use a smartphone anyway. In terms of battery life, it is pretty good. You can record for over 10 hours, and I still have around 30% of power left after two days of intensive use. As for prices, the flagship 32G version is priced at 419 US dollars, and the cheaper version is priced at 279 US dollars. So generally speaking, I believe this recorder can largely enhance our working efficiency, whether it's recording, transcription, and translation. That said, the internet connection has to be good enough. 
So that's all for today. If you like our video, please give us a like or a comment down below your favorite talk twister. So my favorite is 44, <laughs> Such a disaster for Sichuan people. She sells seashells by the seashore. The shells she sells are surely seashells. So if she sells shells by the seashore, I'm sure that's... Dang it. 差不多。